want you to write down the following functions and evaluate the limits. So um, do that and then let us work through it together. Alright? Finished? What did you get? Alright, so let us look at A. Part A. The limit as x tends to 3 of, of what now? 11 minus 3x minus x cubed. Alright, so here, if you will substitute um, 3 into this, what would that? You would have 11 minus 3 times 3, substitute 3 for x, minus 3 cubed, that's going to be 11 minus 3, 3 is 9, minus 3, 3 is 9, 9, 3 is 27, which would give you what? 11 minus 9 <coughs> is 2, so 2 minus 27 would be negative 25, alright? So, that's what you would have as the answer for that particular question. So it's negative 25. That's the answer there. Let's look at B. Let's um, just erase the working here to make some space. B, the limit as x tends to infinity of, what was it again? x squared plus 4x plus 1. So you have x squared plus 4x plus 1 divided by 1 plus 3x squared minus 5x to the 6. 1 plus 3x squared minus 5x to the 6. Alright. Now, let us first try a little thing here. Suppose we substitute infinity into the function for x, what to that? You have infinity squared. Well, infinity squared will just be infinity. An infinitely large number is squared. It's still an infinitely large number. Plus 4 times infinity plus 1 over. 1 plus 3 times infinity minus 5 by infinity to the 6, which is infinity. Otherwise, there's no specific number. That's infinity, alright? Now, this gives you infinity over infinity, which is undefined. <coughs> this can't work, alright? It is undefined. So, I have to try another technique. Now, what I'm looking at here, remember, you have a number, any number over infinity, give you zero, alright? Infinity itself is undefined, so infinity over a number would be undefined, so that one wouldn't work. But, you put a number over infinity, that's zero. Zero over any number is zero. Zero over an infinitely large number is zero. What we want to do here is a little technique. Suppose we divide by... The largest power of x here, x to the 6. So we have numbers over x. We will not have x at the top. And then we substitute infinity into it and see what happens. Alright? Now, if you did not do that before, if you didn't figure out doing that, I want you to pause the video and include that in your work and let's see what you get okay you're finished you pause and worked it out let's see what happens here so when you divide by x to the 6 you have x squared over x to the 6 plus 4x over x to the 6 plus 1 over x to the 6 over 1 over x to the 6 
plus 3x squared over x to the 6 minus 5x to the 6 over x to the 6. What would that give us? x squared over x to the 6 is 1 over x to the 4, right? Plus 4x over x to the 6 will be 4 over x to the 5 plus 1 over x to the 6 all divided by all right, so let's see. 1 over x to the 6 plus 3 over x to the 4 minus uh, x to the 6 over x to the 6 is 1. So it's just minus 5. Let's substitute infinity into it now. 1 over infinity to the 4 is just infinity. Infinitely large number. Plus 4 over an infinitely large number. To the 5 is still an infinitely large number. But you don't have a specific value for it, so just write infinity there. Plus 1 over an infinitely large number to the 6. Still gives you an infinitely large number over. 1 over infinitely large number plus 3 over infinitely large number minus 5. So all of these with number over infinity will be 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 will be 0 up top over 0 plus 0 minus 5. So the answer here will be 0. Right? So this answer will be 0. Right? Alright, so we have part C now. Um, let's break at this point and not stress our brain too much and do part C in the next video.